Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about the choice field options in uh, advanced custom fields. And the choice fields are pretty much like select fields, drop downs, radio buttons, true or false buttons. So I'm just going to create a new field group called select fields. And inside there, I'm going to create one called choose your color. And I'm going to make it a select field. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a select field in the administration panel, which the admin can choose a color, and then it's going to do whatever it wants to on the front end with that. So to be able to determine what choices there are in the select field, you need to format it in a specific way. And as you can see in this example here, red is lowercase, which is the value, and then capital red or capital R red is the label of the actual select field. So if you want to do it, do red space colon and then red like that. Blue space colon blue. Green green space colon green. You can obviously make the values capital as well. It really doesn't matter. But if you want to keep your values in lowercase, you do it that way. Then you can choose your default value. So let's make the default value blue and it refers to the value, not the label. Then if we go down, you can allow null, which means that you can make it so that they don't have to make a selection uh, and there would be an option for them to like not select anything. And there's also select multiple values, but I'll show you that after this. So then also the return format, you can choose for the value to return or the label to return or both. So let's make it both and let's publish that. And then let's go and create a page called options. And I want to then obviously create a page specifically for that. So let's create a new new template, template options.php. I'll just copy the scaffolding from page.php and put it inside there. And then just give the template a name. And I'll just remove that. We don't need that. I'll refresh the page and I will assign options to it. And now we can muck around with it. So let's go back into custom fields and then go to the select fields group and make sure that our page template that it is connected with is our options one. Beautiful. So let's now go to our pages and we'll go to our options page. And as you can see, now we have choose your color. Blue is the color that is default. Um, and I'm just going to make it red. And then if we go into our template to receive it into our template, we just need to create a variable. We'll just call it color, get field. And the ID is choose underscore your color. So let's get that, paste that in. And then if we actually do a var dump, php var dump color, and go to the page to have a look at it, you'll see that it comes as an array value string. So I'm not sure if that is actually going to be beneficial to have the value in the string, but it could, you never know. Okay, so what? how would you use it? Uh, you could basically just do something like PHP if color and then maybe put a label like color PHP echo color. So if there's a color then show you know a label called color with actually it comes up as an array so we need to then target the the label which is capitalized or you can target the value, which is not capitalized. You know, you might want to do something a bit more complex. You might want to do some sort of switch statement. So if you do PHP switch color, and then do something different based on the actual uh, color, or if the color is different, maybe you want to show a certain message. And if it's another color, show a different message. So you could do something like case, red break and then say echo danger the color is red 
So I think that should work if I have, haven't done any coding errors. Um, okay, so yeah, we've done a switch of the color. We need to actually do color value. And there we go. Danger, the color is red. Let me put some breaks in here. Uh, and then you could do say something like case green, echo success. The color is green. And then if we go and refresh, it's still going to be red. But if we change the color here to green, view the page, there we go. The color is green. Okay, so you hopefully get the idea of what you can do with that. Now what we can do, I'm just going to delete those ones. Uh, I won't delete them. I'll keep them there just for GitHub. But what we can do now is we can go into custom fields and change the select field to be a multi-select. Now it works a bit differently than your standard one because people can you can select multiple options. So if we do select multiple values and click on update and go back into our choices page and refresh, oh no, it's an options page, isn't it? Let me just have a look. Go to pages, options. As you can see, now we have multiple options. So if you wanted to have blue and green default, you could just basically go blue and then a uh, line and then green, then update and then refresh. And they, uh, okay, so it's not actually going to work now because I have already updated it and made green the, the, the in the database, green is the color already set. So it would only be default if you've never saved it before. But that's how it works with setting defaults for the multiple values one. Okay, so now that we have multiple values, what's gonna happen is that the data is actually gonna be in an array. So I may have to delete this. And then let's go back into our page and let's do a var dump of color and refresh it. And you'll see now it's an array and within that array, there are other arrays. Okay, so what we can do is we can do something like a for each statement, PHP for each color as C Maybe we could change the variable to colors and then we could do colors as color and then close the for each statement. And inside there we can do PHP var dump color and remember it's either value or label. So we can just do value for example. Oops, I've done something wrong there. That should be right. Okay, let's go and refresh it now. And you'll see that it comes out as green string. Okay, so I'm just gonna take away that var dump, refresh it again, and it comes out just one, the green string. Okay, if we go into the page and we add another color to it, so let's make it blue. You can do it by keeping your finger on the control button and then clicking on the other option. Click on update, refresh. Now blue and green have been selected. So let's echo that out now. So if you wanted to say display in like maybe a comma separated list, you could do something like PHP impl echo implode. And you can, you have to put in the colors array first and then you put in how you want it to be separated. So maybe a comma and a space and then refresh. And again, I've made that I've made a mistake. So it can't, it shouldn't be inside of a, a for each statement. And now you'll see that because it's an array in an array, it's not going to actually show. So what we have to do is we have to go back and take it and make it so that the value only shows and not the both. Okay, and when you do a change, you must save the changes in the page as well. So it saves the different information into the database. Then we'll view and you'll see now we've got a comma separated list of blue and green. 
So you could just do something like this, PHP if colors, PHP and if, and you know, strong colors. So yeah, it really depends on your use case, but you can pretty much do anything you want with that. And uh, that's about it for the select field. See you in the next video.